what's up everybody my name is Seti Said and in this video we will learn how to download and install um, basically any piece of software off the internet this is part of your of my basic computer skills video series so without further ado let's get started uh, I am after a particular program called FileZilla. It's a well, uh, let's just type in FileZilla. Well, we'll see it right here. Let's go ahead and click on it. So, I don't want the pro, I just want the free version. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and click on download. And it's going, when you click on download, your save window comes up. And this is where we get to dictate where we want this program to go. What, what we get to determine where this file gets placed on our computer so if we ever need it again we know where to go so the default at this particular time is across the I guess we're gonna call this the address window but it's in a folder called libraries and inside the libraries folder there's a folder called documents and inside the documents folder are these folders here so I haven't selected a folder so if I was to press save right now this file would appear right up under Dell because it's not in any folder if I was to double click on any of these folders here it would open those folders up and it would save the file there for instance, if I wanted to save it in this Dell folder, I'll just double click on Dell and inside that Dell folder, which lets us know here by going down another level, that there's two other folders. So again, if I was to save this file at this point, it would pop up underneath these two folders here. So we don't want to get too deep into that, but just be aware of where your files are being saved so I'm gonna go back a level actually I didn't have to do that but just using the back arrow takes us back to where we originally were but the shortcut would have been just I'm just gonna save it in my downloads folder which I already have one file already in there so this is where we're going to save the download. So I'll go ahead and click on save. And just like that, my file has been saved. Now because I'm using a browser, um, this browser here, it's Chrome. If you're using Chrome, when you download a file, it shows up at the bottom of your browser window where you can click on it and it'll take you directly to that file. Well, it actually opens it up if it's an executable file, which this one is by the exe extension here. We'll get more into that later in later lessons. But, but say, for instance, if you are using a different browser and this doesn't your file doesn't automatically open or give you a quick shortcut to it so let's just close this like this doesn't exist and we want to see 
where our file was downloaded to or we actually know where it was downloaded because we selected we said put it in our downloads folder so if I go over here to my Windows Explorer icon and click on that and that'll bring up the window and I can click on my downloads folder and here it is FileZilla and we have a big preview here window here so I'm gonna go ahead and put my mouse on the line between so we can stretch this out and get a little bit more information about the file we have here okay so now I can see that's the file that I downloaded now we can there's a since I know this is the program that I want we're gonna go ahead and install it by just we can do it a couple of ways the easiest way is just to double click on it uh, but an alternate method is to use your mouse button the right mouse button and you can choose open or I generally choose run as an administrator so that they know that I'm giving this file permission to uh, install okay and then as part of most programs they'll have a license agreement and in order to use that program you must agree to their terms and uh, one of the things I generally do is just to scroll down just to make sure there aren't any boxes that they may pre-check for us usually if you scroll down and you see a pre-checked box it's usually some type of uh, solicit uh, advertisement where they you, you agree for them to contact you or you agree to a download some additional software that has nothing to do with what you're working on or what you're you, you're you say you initially I'm just initially here to get this program and just this program I don't want anything else so get used to that once you haven't set in your mind that you're after a particular program get that program and do not get the attachments that they want to do they they some advertisers are well you know what I mean I think so I don't see any other attachments so I'm gonna go ahead and agree It says, please select whether you wish to make this software available to all users or just yourself. Um, because I know what this program is for, it's only for me. Okay. And the next option in this particular program, it says, check the components you want to install and uncheck the components you, do, you don't want to install okay the icon set language file shell extension desktop icon okay so that doesn't appear to be anything extra so I'm going to go ahead and click next to install now it says choose the install location this is the default location which I always suggest you use but you can select to um, store this file in a different location just be aware by doing so the program may not work properly so unless you know what you're doing um, just leave the destination folder as is and click next okay says choose 
start menu folder and this is just for the shortcuts so again we're just going to leave it as a default the filezilla FTP client and click next and here we go and this is what I told you to kind of look out for and install additional software it says recommended for your computer and most people don't pay attention to this and they're too uh, hungry and thirsty to get the program going that they just start clicking next without actually reading uh, what they're clicking uh, next to you end up having a bunch of software installed on your pro uh, on your computer that you'll never use and then it will be running in the background causing your computer to run uh, slower so I am not going to agree to install this and click next because I do not need another search engine or search offer again additional software uncheck I do not want and click next and then the program starts to install and the program is ready to run it says the files of a client has been installed on your computer click finish to close setup and the box is checked that if I click close right now it will start the program so let's go ahead and click finish to make sure everything's running and it appears everything is running fine so that is how you download and install software pretty much any software off the internet Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Comment. Our comments, all comments are welcome, good or bad. Um, I don't, um, unless it's just complete ignorance, I will leave all comments posted. So please like and subscribe. Again, comment. And I'll see you in my next Basic Computer Skills video. Have a good one. Peace.